Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. About five days ago, I posted this video, unprecedented question mark, jet stream crosses equator. It's a very controversial video. I've taken uh, some, some uh, hits in social media as a result of this video. So what did, the, did Beckwith uh, really screw up? Did I really make a mistake or what, what, what's behind this video? Do I have to uh, berate myself and say, bad Paul, you know, take it back, made a mistake. You know, I'm human, I do make mistakes. I don't, you know, everybody does. Uh, let me just get the light, be a better contrast. So, so what do I do? I look at the climate system. Okay, um, this is my YouTube uh, channel. So if you just Google Paul Beckwith, YouTube Paul Beckwith, this is what you get. Um, I talk about the pieces of the climate system and how they all interact and how they all connect together. I'm not a specialist, so I'm not your typical scientist that is a, a specialist, like studying glaciers or studying, you know, an atom in the atmosphere or studying um, methane, we're studying, you know, some aspect of the ocean, you know. Um, I look at all different aspects of the climate system and I try to figure out what's going on. And I let people know and hopefully this stimulates uh, research, stimulates controversy. Do I hoping that? Not really, but it's better people talk about it, about climate change, about the system changes that we're seeing, than not talk about it. So, here, here are some of my videos, methane emissions, many on methane, uh, climate solutions, CDR, carbon dioxide removal, um, all kinds of stuff here. Um, I talk about the Arctic a lot. I talked about the fires here um, in Fort McMurray, blue ocean events, uh, you know, even bizarre things like what would happen if, uh, you know, if H-bombs were dropped you know, creating a nuclear winter, how would that affect climate change? You know, how you can become a climate scientist in 15 minutes. There's all kinds of stuff here. Um, after this video, my condolences to Australia's Great Barrier Reef, I started to really push on the idea that we're in a climate change emergency. Unlike uh, what you would get from, the impression you would get from reading Washington Post, hack job on me. It's not because of a little jet stream crossing the equator that I'm declaring a climate change emergency. In fact, if you just go Google back with YouTube emergency, then this is my video here, the recent one. You know, here's one five months ago, climate system emergency. Climate system emergency, one, for, one out of two, two out of two, five months ago. So you think that the Washington Post could have done a little bit of investigative reporting before they wrote their article saying I was claiming it was a climate emergency because of the jet stream crossing the equator. This is totally erroneous. And it's funny because the author of that article emailed me and said, Paul, I've interviewed a couple atmospheric uh, scientists. You know, they're disagreeing with you. I'm going to write an article. Do you have any comment? I responded to the email, gave him my phone number, said, yes, please contact me. Then I checked, the article was already out. It may have already been out before the email was sent. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, global weather emergency threatened. Okay, this is somebody else. Um, there's lots of things. Look at this. Here's, here's a uh, um, COP20. So this is Lima, Peru, year and a half ago. This is the title, Global Arctic Methane Emergency. I was involved in, I've been involved with a group called the Arctic Methane Emergency Group for five or six years, right? So emergent, you know, here, brutal heat wave, okay, and so on. Arctic Methane Emergency Group, okay? Emergency, me saying emergency is nothing new. Um, this particular video from Peru, is, is actually quite good. So I would recommend that you have a look at this particular video. Now, so what's caused all the controversy? Here's my blog, my website, paulbeckwith.net. Uh, and I talk about abrupt climate change from the Arctic to Antarctica, facts, opinions, and analysis. 
when you're talking about the overall climate system, then you have to know little bits about all of the pieces, but you're not going to be obviously an expert in each of the individual pieces. So, so I asked the question, unprecedented question mark. Notice a, a question mark again. Now, nowhere do I, I say the jet streams cross the equator. I, I, I thought this was new behavior. Um, new, you know, what do we mean by new? New in the last few years, new since we've been, been undergoing abrupt climate change. Um, the way it's happening seems to be new to me, as I said in the video. Um, and this is hotly contested. Um, welcome to climate chaos. We must declare a global climate emergency. And then there's my video. And I, um, yeah, I'm asking for donations to support my work. This is my website, which I pay uh, a good, I pay a good friend to, to uh, do posts. I, um, I, I'm a, I'm a part-time professor. I teach the odd course. Um, I don't get any other income. So, so uh, my income, if you want all my tax forms for the last five years, yeah, I could provide them. And I'm, I'm close to poverty line, probably under the poverty line for most of them. You know, money isn't a driving motivator for me, but um, it's, uh, you know, you have to pay bills, you have to live. So I'm asking if you like my work, if you want an independent view on climate, system stuff, then, uh, you know, please consider supporting me. So, so here's the video. So I want to pay, play just a couple clips here uh, for you. Okay, so what did I actually say? Um, nowhere did I say that jet streams crossing the equator are unprecedented. I have a question mark. So I'm asking, is it unprecedented? I'd have to go through every image for every year to see if it was unprecedented or not. Of course, one case proves me wrong. So I'm asking the question, is it unprecedented? You know, I said, this seems like new behavior. It indicates the climate system mayhem is ongoing. You know, our climate system behavior continues to surprise us in new and scary ways that we had never anticipated or even seen before. Welcome to climate chaos. Okay, so I don't say that this behavior is unprecedented. Do I say it in the video? Uh, let me go to 135 here. This is close enough. Southern Hemisphere, but they're separate. But in this case, we can see the jet streams twisting down here, crossing the equator and rejoining the, the stream in the Southern Hemisphere. You can also see it here. And you can also see it here. This is new as far as I, as, as far as I'm aware. Okay, this is new as far as I'm aware. Okay, never in the video do I say this is unprecedented. Okay, this is a type of behavior that's really interesting because you clearly have a jet stream coming and crossing the equator and joining with another jet stream. I have found uh, cases, it's been pointed out to me that in February of this year, uh, a similar thing happened for a short period of time. In 2015, there was a short period of time on a couple cases where this happened. And also I've heard in 2014, I haven't had time to investigate all of these. Uh, but so clearly the, quest, the answer to that question is no, it's happened, but it's a recent phenomena and it's very rare. Um, okay, uh, there's another, I wanna go to another point here in the video. This is, this is what things that I've said. Here we go. Uh, 640. Okay. And I'll go back a day. Okay. So you can see it's there, but it's much weaker. I'll go back another day. So this is looking at the development. And now it's pretty much broken. It's pretty much gone. Of this breach across go the equator. Three hours. Still separated. I can go forward three more hours. Still separated. Three more hours. It's starting to get closer here. The gap is narrowing. And if I go back three more hours, it seems to be forming here. So basically, June 27 to 11 a.m. Local. Okay. So this is uh, this is my video. This is uh, the source of all the um, attacks and so on. So. Let's actually, if you do a search for a jet stream equator, okay, before I did the video last week, there was very, very little, almost nothing on jet streams crossing the equator. 
Okay. Um, now, if you Google Jet Stream Equator, you see all of this stuff. So the mania, this is a great article in Forbes. Um, and then debunking, debunking, uh, utter nonsense. Claim the jet stream crossing equator is climate emergency is utter nonsense. This precipitated this article, which was done the morning after um, I did it, I posted the video uh, last week. Um, utter nonsense. And this basically everything exploded from this video. Um, you know, death of winter, all this stuff. I mean, I can go on, I can go on like 10 pages, 20 pages. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff on this now. So articles around the world, stuff like that. So very, very controversial, of course. Okay, very, very controversial. So let's see what originally precipitated all of this stuff. So here we go. This was uh, Jason who contacted me sent me an email. Do you want to comment on this? I'm writing an article. And within an hour, I responded, yes, here's my phone number. Never heard from him. Still have never heard from him. And then he did the uh, trash art, the art, sorry, he did this, this exemplary piece of uh, work here, you know, Washington Post. So claim is utter nonsense. So let's have a look. Okay. Um, one said, Okay, so made a stunning claim. Northern Hemisphere, so, you know, has done something new and outrageous across the equator. Um, this is what Ro um, uh, Robert, um, Robert Scribbler said. Um, this is what I said. It means, I did not say it means that we have a global emergency. This is one small piece of a large system puzzle that is strongly indicating that the, we know the behavior of the jet stream is changing uh, from Jennifer Francis's work. So I'm just carrying it a bit further and saying, well, what happens when we lose Arctic sea ice and snow cover completely? You know, the temperature equalizes with latitude in the Northern Hemisphere. What do the jets look like? Are they fractured? Are they broken? Are there any jets at all? Is there a humidity gradient that creates jets? Um, clearly, they're going to be meandering close to the equator and cross the equator. So the frequency will increase. This is just logic, common sense. I mean, peer-reviewed papers will show this in a few years. I'm sure. Um, but these shrill claims have no validity. Well, I mean, that claim wasn't made by me. Uh, you know, it's a global climate emergency because we've lost, you know, the coral reefs have bleached. We're getting massive torrential rain events. We're getting uh, sea levels are rapidly rising. CO2 levels in the atmosphere rose over 3 ppm in 2015, probably hitting 4 ppm this year, even though we supposedly reduced uh, uh, reduced fossil fuel burning. Um, temperatures, you know, Paris, 1.52 degrees. Well, we were 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 over for the month of February of this year. Uh, you know, the, the temperatures have, sp have spiraled up this year, you know, being pushed forward by the strong El Nino. Okay, so then it goes on. So what do we say here? Um, the, okay, so script talks about Scribbler, dividing lines. I wrote that jet stream behavior is unprecedented. Okay, I had a question mark, unprecedented. Okay, I didn't say it was unprecedented. I didn't know, so I put the question mark in there. You know, it is, it is part of climate system mayhem. Our climate system behavior, this is true. Okay, we must declare a global emergency. This is based on a huge amount of work on all these different topics. It's, you know, I, I, I listen to what scientists say, I look at their studies, I fit it into a global picture. Okay, so what, you know, of course, this, the atmospheric scientists will go to them. Okay, so what do they, they have graduate degrees. Oh, okay, yeah, let's push the education. I have graduate degree. Um, da, 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 you know, okay, this is, here we go. So cliff mass, okay, so here's cliff mass. You know, uh, nice looking uh, mug shot. Um, you know, if you click on, wrote a book on weather, you know, click on his pub presentations, publications. It's a weather guy, it's a meteorologist, okay? This guy has a lot of experience in meteorology. Um, he said that flow often crosses the equator and he's talking about um, mostly from monsoon. So yes, over India, when there's a monsoon, the air rises over the land, the land is very hot, air is pulled from the ocean, comes across, some of it comes across the equator, okay? This is not what we're talking about with this new behavior. Uh, okay, now this